the problem with satire is something I pointed out two years ago in my Tumblr days. I figured I'd re-explore it, since it is something that, now that I've changed my viewpoints long enough, I should re-explore it. And under my present viewpoints, it regains its relevancy. You see, satire is the act of presenting a person's viewpoint, usually comedically, in a sarcastic way, to expose its holes, its fallacies, its inconsistencies, its immoralness, its unrealisticness, its short-sightedness, and just just about any other impotencies I can think of. Now, political satire is important. I'm not going to discredit it. Political satire is relevant in TRS, in that area, and it has its role in analysis and how to analyze, analyze a viewpoint for the lowest common denominator and just to strike some a visceral reaction, not even a visceral reaction, I don't know where the reaction of laughter comes from. I, there is a bit of a staccato in the gut, but it's more complicated than that. Upon hearing the nonsensical fallacy and the trueness of it all. How true and how funny the inconsistencies are and how you see them all the time. But that's the real problem. What happens if you try to straw man or create a false construct of what you're essentially parodying what if you create something that's not truly it then you form a satire based on that false premise or that man of straw then it comes off as condescending then it comes off as attention whoring and being an edutarian and maybe even falling in fedora territory and this isn't something that I like seeing I've done certain things of this nature too it's safe to say that I was a little worried about making these same mistakes and I've done them too. Hopefully with a little more grace or with less negative consequences. At the same time, satire is a double-edged sword because if you form a parody or try to be funny and make fun of a political or social issue and you're dead wrong about the nature of the social issue, then you're going to come off looking like a hack and the ideologue that you truly are. And that you have an agenda, you have a horse in the race, and everyone's going to be more wary of you. The ones that are paying attention and have made a judgment based on what they've seen. For example, if I were to, I remember an Obama ad that had a bunch of students saying things like, evolution isn't real, it's a construct made against creationists, global warming is fake, uh, because my teacher told me, or, basically it was saying a bunch of, 
things that are you're not supposed to say under the liberal hedge and money. It'll make you look miseducated, ignorant, stupid. Denying global warming in 2010, not so good. Denying things like evolution, not so good. And they have a bunch of young six-year-old students saying it just to make it seem so funny, like this is so wrong. What about comedians like Bill Hicks and George Carlin that take on the concept of God and they basically make fun of it by saying, oh, he's the God of love and he sends people to hell. That's funny, right? Because it, it makes no sense. It's a plot hole. This condescending straw man is really interesting because it showcases that comedy is an interesting dimension where the reason it's subjective is because it's based on your viewpoints. If all your prepositions are essentially right or identical enough, you're going to laugh at it. If it's not, then you're going to see the holes. You're going to realize that this is nothing but condescending bullshit. And you're not going to find it funny. You're probably going to find it disgusting. You're going to consider it mean. You're going to consider it low-level, petty, even bullying or something of that nature. And I've seen this in terms of libertarians do this too. Not as much as liberals, but they do it in their own autistic way with the Keynesian straw men, where they assume that all Keynesians, they like breaking windows to stimulate the economy or something ridiculous of that nature. Which, I'm not crediting Keynesianism with anything, don't get me wrong. Keynesianism to... Send it, send it away somewhere far. But send Austrian economics farther away, because that's worse in many ways. Or not. Reactionaries like to paint everyone as if we're all just a bunch of tumbler doofuses. Or it likes to paint everyone also as the kind of person that'll... Dumb, the dumb masses that'll willfully accept the most degenerative things without the drop of worry or uncomfortability. They do tend to do that. They'll assume that everyone likes Miley Cyrus's VMA performance. They'll assume that everyone likes the fact that Kanye West is implying that he's God. There is a relevant portion of the community that associates Kanye West with Stuff like Justin Bieber and One Direction, Nicki Minaj, and stuff we're supposed to hate. And then there's the Brahmins that'll associate it as pseudo-intellectual brilliance. That Kanye West isn't a moron, he's just a smart person that likes to stay one step ahead of the game. And trick everyone and troll people. Which he is, actually. But he's still remarkably unintelligent. I mean, there's there are dumb trolls out there. They're all not not all of them are geniuses. You have 4chan to prove that. 4chan epitomizes the fact that trolls can be stupid too. Hell, any open Facebook group you're in. I'm in a couple of political ones, and I'm also in a couple of wrestling ones. 
and they're all chock full of stupid people that are trolls. Not everyone that's a troll is elite 30 year old a guy that's been in the internet game forever and he's a he's knowledgeable on Dao things on heavy abstraction and logic. Anyways, this is a Mr. Wonka 7 video. I just want to go out there and say that you should be able to parody this video, strawman it, assume I'm saying something that I'm not, and like go out there and say that I'm saying that all parody is stupid, evil, liberal, and mean. I guarantee you that someone will laugh at that thing. That's so true, that's totally what he said, and it makes no sense. Because he's laughed at stuff like scary movie, and he doesn't call that liberal heavy degeneracy. Anyway, respect the king.